Hello, welcome to my channel. Renzo here. Today, I'm just gonna paint Davis again. I'm gonna use razor brushes and some synthetic brushes too, like these ones. The colors I'm gonna use are titanium white, yellow ochre, cadmium red hue, permanent alizarin crimson, and ivory black. Okay, I'm gonna make a quick sketch. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna place the position of the whole head. The canvas, uh, let's say the face is gonna be around here. Uh, the top of the head around here. Let's see the over overall shape of the face. It's kind of a rectangle. Yeah, something like a rectangle, and this curve here. Okay. Now the position of the eyes. I always, when I'm, when I'm, I'm about to place the eyes, I'm always thinking, where is the top of the head? Let's say this is the, this is gonna be for the top of the hair. That means that the top of the head could be around here. From here to here, I look for the middle, and I'm gonna place the eyes there. Okay, I'm not making uh, this kind of perfect because I have this for the chin. It could be here, it could be up here, up here or down here. The eyes is the same. That gives me space to move the eyes a little bit up or down. Brows, nose. To make the nose, I'm watching the model, okay? But at the same time, I'm measuring and using the cannon. You know, I repeat this in every video, from the brow to the nose, it's the same distance to the bottom of the chin. Let's say that it's going to be around here, and the mouth is going to be around here. Okay, when I have this established, I'm going to start mixing colors. One more thing, the center line of the face will be around this here. Okay, I'm gonna prepare three values. Hello Michael, hello Roxanne from Brazil. Hello Manuel, hello Cash. Uh, yes, my camera is prime and uh, I added, uh, I usually add three layers of uh, gesso, white gesso, and one extra layer with uh, acrylic, gesso plus acrylic. Okay, first, I'm gonna mix yellow ochre, red, and white. Okay, a little bit of black. Okay, let's see, this is gonna be for the lights. It's too dark. I want to separate a little bit for the next mixture. More white. Okay, a little bit of black. I want this to be a little grayish. I don't want this to be like a orangey, like a pure orangey saturated color. No. I want this to be light kind of a skin color but grayish color okay now I'm gonna I'm planning to put more colors on top of this okay I'm gonna use another brush a second brush and I'm gonna mix again the same yellow ochre red more black and less white uh, speaking that it has more white than this mixture, uh, sorry, more more black and less white. That makes this color a little bit darker. 
Okay, that's going to be for mid-tones. Uh, let's say this is the face. It almost has a lot of light, but there is some mid-tones like the shadow here on the nose. Let me see. I think it's too reddish. It's too bright. I have to knock down that color. Mm. More yellow. More yellow ochre. More black. More white. If you have a color, this is called uh, a gray paint. That white is just another thing that white and black. You can choose the color, that's going to be easier because you mix an orange and you add the gray color. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this color is okay. And now let's mix a third one. That's going to be the same. Yellow ochre, camion red. This one has more black, less yellow. I want this to be a little bit darker. Let's see, this is going to be for the shadows. Okay, I think it's okay. I mean, we're going, we're going to adjust these colors. There is no way to be perfect that this makes sure. But we, what we need to be clear is about the values. Because values means volume. Okay, hello Dita. Hello Hassan. Almost sound palette yes it's just i added the a uh, listen crimson it's basically the sound palette plus a different crimson okay now let's paint first i'm gonna add this color let's see now that i have painted more I can see if the color is okay or not. I think it's going to work. Mm, let me check out. I'll add more little ochre. More white. A touch of black. Uh, I think this color has too, mu too much red in it. Let's separate this up here. Let's add more yellow ochre, more black, and white. It's like the brush has some red. I'm gonna clean out the brush just with a rag. Let me see, this is different, yeah? it's more yellowish. Still I need to knock down this color more. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, do you see light? You put this color. Okay, spreading the paint and not adding too much paint because I'm going to change this color and pretty sure I'm going to adjust the values. Okay, this is one brush, now the other brush. What about this color? It's okay, it's too reddish, like the other one. version here let's see yeah. okay now the last one this is the darkest one okay 
Okay, I have to measure here a little bit because since I, when I started to make more details, I have to be uh, sure that I'm respecting the proportions. Mm. I'm squinting my eyes. I I know there's not too much to see here, but anyway, I'm squinting my eyes and trying to see the overall shape and trying to imagine the distance from the eyes to the nose and from the nose to the mouth. color for the hair it's gonna be black red a lot of black red and yellow okay I'm gonna use a little bit of medium linseed oil and uh, turpentine or mineral spirit half and half Excuse me. Not too much paint yet. I need to see if the drawing is okay. I have something here, there's not so clear, but I have something here. Now I'm gonna use a smaller brush and I'm gonna use I'm going to use this one as a pencil. That means that now I'm going to draw okay on top of this. Okay, let's see. I have one eye, one eye. Let me see and checking out the distance from one eye to the other eye. To the nose. To the chin. Measuring, okay. I'm measuring. I, I, I'm following the image, but I'm measuring. Okay, it's not like just uh, I'm not really like just on what I see and try to copy that. I'm just uh, I'm relying both what I see and what I know about the proportion of the face. Like, like I always repeat, the Loomis method is the best one for to study the proportion of the face. And the Loomis method is not for copying, it's for to learn to draw by memory. Okay, step back and I squint my eyes. And kind of I see the shape of the face is similar, the distance from the eyes to the nose, kind of okay, the mouth, the nose is bigger, 
Now, it's bigger because it's long or it's bigger just there in that in, the, in this position. If I make it bigger, just by make it long, that, that means that I'm going to move this proportions, okay? And I think he has the proportions okay, I mean, the regular proportion, what the canon indicates, like the proportion of any face. Okay, now, uh, let me use a vertical axle to look for the same point of coincidence or alignment on the face one it could be the corner of the mouth uh, it could be around here with uh let's say the mirror here on, on the eye here okay now here the corner of this side of the mouth around here up to the tear duct, kind of to the tear duct okay. now let's see the angle of the eyes uh, if you have this uh, this line for the eyes uh, the line for the mouth has to be parallel to this one to this one Stepping back, squinting down my eyes. Now, again, now what I'm gonna do is just copy the darkest areas of the face. I, I already placed the nose, the eyes, and the mouth. They are okay, they are right, not yet. Okay, I'm squinting down my eyes, I see this is dark, this is dark. Okay, not too much paint yet. This is dark, 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 okay, dark here. Okay, I'm gonna use another color for the nose and adding more red and more yellow ochre to make this shadow here. Okay. Keep squinting my eyes. This is darker. Okay. What else I can see? Oh, the eye bugs here and here. Okay. Uh, if I compare it both the the image in the painting, I mean with my eyes squinted, I kind of see some similarity. I open my eyes, I, I mean I don't see that. But that's okay. Okay, now the mouth. I see this dark here. And here. What I'm doing is trying to calculate this Okay. Okay, I have three values on the face I draw and then I'm just copying values, the darker values on the face Now I'm going to do the same with lights Okay, with the highlights No, no, not the, the highlights like the shine in the, the nose like the highlight on the nose more like uh, this light, let's say here and here and here 
a little bit of yellow ochre, white, now you can add more paint if you want. We usually have more paint on the lights, even if we can just apply really thick, thick paint on the, on the lights. Okay, let's see. Forehead. The nose. So I'm squinting down my eyes, see light, light, light. Right here. Blend. I'm gonna blend a little bit. Soft everything. blend I can know the brush here you can use two brushes for blending one for the light color for the light colors and the other one for the darker color colors Now I see more, I'm able to compare more. I can tell that I have to reduce this area here. Okay, values are okay. Color, not yet. Okay, again. Now I'm gonna draw again. See, I'm gonna pick up the same brush darker color and I use these brushes like I was using a pencil that means that I'm drawing and painting at the same time okay okay again now I will try to be more careful because I now now I have the position of the eye no, the, the eyes nose and the mouth but I'm not so sure to move it maybe this one more to the left to the right or whatever it is just now let's try to make more details and I have this one with a lighter color this brush this is number zero brush we call this liner brushes 
you can see in this area, just this area, I have this, I have a light here. Let's paint the white of the eye. The white of the eye is always kind of a triangle. You see this is something like this. Okay, that's difficult to see. Like this. This one here. The white of the eye here is the same, something like this. Like a triangle. Okay, hello Christine, hello Anna Maria. Okay. Let's continue, let me step back a little bit because the eyes are difficult. I need to calculate this. this now this eye mm. Okay, going carefully. Now I see a little bit more. Obviously, this is no focus. It's, it's kind of blurry. That's what I want. Squinting down my eyes, uh, double checking. Okay, I need to light up. I need to light up uh, here the eye box. Okay, now the nose. I need two br the same br two brushes. This one and this one. I will try to draw first the nostril. Let's see. Let's see the shadow. I'm trying to measure. Let's say from here to from the nos this nostril to the shadow here. Here is going to be this nostril, really dark. Shadow here. Okay, now with this one again. This. Well. Okay, let's blend this a little bit. I can say right now that the width of the nose is not okay. Here I have to be, have to be, uh, it's too narrow. I have to make it wider. Okay. 
Not the mouth. Mm. Not the mouth, the same. I, if I got this, that's okay. I think the nose is still is not okay. I think it should be bigger. Uh, maybe a little bit longer here. And maybe I'm gonna paint more because I'm not so sure of, of this. I'm gonna do more camion red, more yellow ochre to paint the mouth. Okay, now the mouth. Remember, I'm using just uh, a very core axle to try to see points of coincidence like uh, the corner of the mouth with the iris here, the corner of the side of the mouth with the tear duct. Mm. Okay, it's not the tear duct, the tear duct is kind of here. If I trace a line down, no, the mouth is it's not a big, it's shorter, it's kind of here. Okay. Hello, Jorge. I'm not so wor worried about the color yet, you see that I'm keeping the color simple. That's because I'm drawing and painting at the same time. If you, I mean, you, you decide to start with a perfect drawing or trace or transfer the drawing, whatever you want, you're going to start with more colors. Okay, I think it's okay. I'm doing that here and I'm doing that in the image. The photo I have to my left. Okay, I continue blending. I paint, I add more lights and I blend. I add more shadows and I blend. Okay, I'm getting closer and closer just step by step. Okay, now the width of the face is not okay yet. Okay, I'm working here, here and here and here. Now let's work around the face because the face is, I think I have to narrow the face. Okay. Okay, let me see. Mm. Mm, okay. Give me another brush. Because I need a darker color. The brand I use is Winton from Winsor & Newton. Remember, if you want to buy materials, there are links in the description box. If you buy using the links, you're kind of supporting my channel because every time that you buy something, I get a commission. 
it's just cent not even maybe not even a dollar for but uh, it's okay it's, for me it's passive income and that's not gonna add more price to you to what you buy it's just it's gonna take out uh, from the, I mean that's the um, Amazon commission Amazon pays that not you Work here on the contour of the face. Little by little, moving this, kind of narrowing the face. I'm gonna do the same with this side and left side. Another brush number zero two, and again, I'm gonna go a little darker in some areas, for example, here a little bit. Hello Monique. Yes, yeah, you're right. It looks younger here. Hello Eve. Okay, 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 okay. 
Okay, again, I'm, gonna, I'm going to repeat the same process again. I'm going to start just drawing again. Okay, let's pick up a couple of brushes. Okay, let's see this eye first. Mixing black and white. Well, let's paint the white of the eyes. This brush again, let's make the darks. This is really, really clear. This really black, black here. Okay, now here too. this kind of closing this just little by little first uh, I painted this like over here then I move it here then I'm moving more closing more to the face okay now here in this eye the brow is darker here every time that you paint brows don't paint them just with one value that means everything dark there's always some dark darker area on the brows and some light area okay it's usually a little bit lighter here and here because I mean it's kind of the bone is here and this uh, there is a bump and that that's where usually the brow gets some light and we can even put some lights on the hair like this okay here and this question here paramic para param jit hi there I've tried one of your portrait videos sometimes I struggle to lay down paint properly on the next layer okay 
uh, you're painting with acrylics and painting with oils usually with acrylics you know I add let's say thicker paint it's not thicker thicker but thicker paint the first layer and then I kind of paint with really transparent layers of acrylic I don't accumulate too much paint when I paint with acrylics with oil is different with oil you can go thicker and thicker and thicker yes with acrylics I go just thicker a little bit thicker first and then transparent 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 and but usually you say about you mentioned the quality of the acrylics yeah it could be I mean mostly it's always kind of mostly not let me know 100% of the time but it's the quality of the canvas the canvas is a factor that is so common that when it's not good we struggle a lot it's exactly like when we want to draw a simple drawing if you pick up um, any piece of paper this thin really thin piece of paper that we use to print to print out documents and you try to draw on that paper you're gonna realize that you don't get the darks and that's not because of the material it's mostly because of the paper okay and speaking about graphite graphite I mean, charcoal is different charcoal is really dark it goes <laughs> over any surface then you, cha you change to another uh, paper and then you see that you can get some darks it's the same with the canvas if the canvas is not it's not okay it's gonna suck the oil or uh, that or anything or the, even the acrylic you're gonna feel some res resistance when you're moving your brush We gotta be very careful with our canvases. Mm, okay, make this a little bit darker, a little bit darker here. I'm moving from the eyes to the nose and to the mouth. Okay, don't stay too much time in just one area. We gotta see the whole face, the whole portrait. Okay, I'm squinting down my eyes. Uh, kind of okay. You realize when you squint down your eyes, you, I mean, mostly is to see values. Okay? I squint down my eyes and I think I need this to be darker. And at the same time, what I do is I see this shadow here, let's say and compare this shadow here with this one it's just up or it's an angle it's more to the left to the right okay in other, in other, in other words I'm not just trying to make this darker because it's darker I'm drawing at the same time because it's not about just this shadow it's about this shadow and this shadow okay is the same here let's say I make this and I try to try uh, try tracing a line or an, an angle to the corner of the eye where it's really dark here or here that is dark too almost black black Okay, now I'm squinting my eyes and I see that it's closed. Okay. What I don't see is the light. I'm going to add white, a little bit of yellow ochre. And I'm going to put light here. And now I squint down my eyes and I see now the light and the shadow. And I can tell that the light is not okay. I need to make like let's say a curve like this I'm exaggerating a little bit I squint down my eyes I'm kind of close to the shape of the nose I mean he 
doesn't have the nose like like with that curve but it's because the, the effect of light when I squint my eyes that I see that we can that we, at the same time we can see that a simple sight yeah this looks like kind of a curve slightly let's put the slide here the highlight here Squint down my eyes and that's okay okay now I'm gonna blend again Now let's change the color a little bit. Um, no, just a little bit, just because I'm gonna add the reddish areas of the face. Let me pick up another brush. I need a really soft brush. Okay, this one I think is okay. I'm gonna add more red here and white. Let's put this pinky color here just a little bit okay just a little bit okay we want this a little bit reddish it's not reddish because just reddish. Remember that this we gotta just uh, see around the nose. It's not just because of the nose. Have to be more saturated or warmer or reddish or whatever you wanna call it than this area. Okay, it's always what is around the nose because we make the nose a little bit warmer or reddish yeah, because the nose, oh, well, it's always that it's just because that's the color and at the same time because we want to, the nose to pop forward okay they say I paint the nose greenish or too grayish do you think it's gonna pop forward? no first all noses are kind of reddish and second, we have to add, have to make a difference, a more visible difference, maybe, than uh, in real life. Okay. Reddish areas of the face, remember, cheek, nose, upper and lower eyelid, chin. Really soft, okay? So if you want to, let's say, make a painting very expressive with a lot of color, you can exaggerate the color in those areas. Make more orange or maybe make more reddish. It's up to you. I mean, if you want to exaggerate color, let's say you add some green here around here that's gonna be okay well imagine that you add green to the nose or you add green to this area that is usually has more blood do you think it's gonna be okay no it's not okay if you add you make a nose a kind of greenish a little bit just greenish greenish grayer what is gonna happen first is gonna look dirty and second it's not gonna pop forward okay we use color to make things to reset and things to come forward
It's just about that. And what's that perspective? Okay. That means that we need to add that that information every time that you, we paint a portrait. It's not going to be just about copy exactly what we see. The mouth is kind of off, it's kind of tilted, yeah, I'm just trying to fix it. Okay, remember every time that we use color, uh, color Make thing, things to reset or come forward. Okay, that means that we can add perspective with color. At the same time, obviously, that we try to copy the skin color. Eh? It's not just about copy the skin color. It's not just about that. But you can, if you copy. Uh, skin color you don't think about these things about perspective visual perspective um, that's when the things looks uh, kind of flat for example here uh, this and this color should be different okay I mean we if we see this area has some light we cannot get this light all the way to the corner in the border here and the edge has to be a little bit darker even nothing maybe but it has to be a little bit darker just a little bit even a little bit could be enough to create the illusion that this is turning here and here And we're not we're not getting that just with a couple of brush strokes. That is uh, to get that right. We need to go back and forth, add paint, erase, again add more paint, add more paint. Maybe each layer is gonna make the painting better or worse. That's why we keep going back and forth, retouching. Let's say I put this color and say no, no, it has to be yellowish, again yellowish, no, no, it has to be reddish, again reddish. Okay, that's just what we do, trying to do this. And then maybe it has to be cooler this color, I change the color, or maybe it has to be warmer, I make it warmer. That's the fundamentals of painting. That's the fundamentals. Yeah. We have to study the fundamentals. And that's my dog <laughs> barking. I'm going to my wife's house with my kids, the dog, the cat, and we're gonna pick up another cat. Every time the I mean, all my dog is really small. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's like uh, this street dogs. Like doesn't have any. How do you call brand, breed, breed? I don't remember any breed. <laughs> breed. It's just a. It's so funny when we go to the bath. 
because I mean people usually have nice dog dogs eh? it's like a I don't even know the names but they have nice dogs beautiful dogs and here we go with <laughs> little dog that looks like I don't know the name I mean they, it doesn't have even a, a race it doesn't it doesn't yeah his hair race of my dog it doesn't have a name okay you know what I, I kind of like this color with a little bit of red Hello, what is your green drawing brush? Oh, this is synthetic brush. The brand is Mary's. This it says Mary's China. Just synthetic brushes. I have here one that has red handle. It's kind of the same, different brand, but the same hair. Synthetic hair. Dog is calling you to drink a beer. <laughs> Just right if time for a beer mm -hmm. I kind of I love this kind of pinky reddish color here I'm gonna add some more I'm gonna keep that, this kind of I don't know if you can notice on the camera it has some kind of pinky color and I'm going to add and pick up another brush. Okay, this one. Okay, I need more white. for the lights here okay this is the lightest light I'm make it really warm it's not warm warm because it has uh, yellow it's yellow ochre it's not pure yellow all of this I don't want to lose this pink color that I've been adding to the paint okay let's see I'm trying to control this I'm gonna try to control that, that I mean by adding again this pinky color and adding again this color okay I need to make the nose more wire okay you see the difference yeah there's a difference okay that's better even bigger Okay, 
it does better. Okay, I have this yellowish and I'm gonna keep this, like I said, this pinky color. Hello dear Leniham, thank you, thank you. Oh, you started painting. Yes, I mean it takes a lot, of, uh, takes some practice to starting to get to see some results. Is this oil of acrylic? This is oil, oil paint. Hello, Ardish. Let's make the the the, the uh, white of the eyes a little bit lighter. Okay, it's pure white. Let me clean out this brush. Okay, let's add pure white. Back to the eyes to blend a little bit. I think the width of the nose is okay now. Mm. A bit close. Okay, the mouth now. I'm gonna add some highlights. again here remember all all the lights doesn't have the same intensity the same brightness all over the face to make a mistake to put a really high light here and the same here okay What do you think? What do you think? I'm getting close. Uh, speaking about the likeness. Yeah. Don't judge me on color because uh, color is going to be a process. 
but until the end I'm gonna start just adding more color saturate or desaturate the colors okay. can I ask you do you use mediums? no I'm not using any medium just when I painted the hair I use linseed oil and turpentine half and half Tatiana hello thank you Mark Hamilton where are you are you what are you painting on lining? No, no, it's just a cotton. This cotton. Uh, I used to prepare my own canvases. I bought raw fabric, and I add three layers of gesso, white gesso, and a fourth layer of gesso with acrylic with color. This gray. Uh, apply the layers with a ruler. Okay, I have something like this. Uh, this is not the one that I use, but something like this. Okay, in this way, I don't sand between layers, and it's kind of okay. Definitely, I mean, there is better canvases. Lining, of course, is better. But for me, my formula works perfect. Now I'm going to squint down my eyes again and let's see again the darks on the painting. I just pure black. Because I'm going to get those darks, really darks, darks. And I do this because I mean I always try to correct the drawing. Okay? Again. This is pure, pure black. the other eye We're stepping back and trying to see. Okay, one thing I think. Let me see if my mm. 
I can't just pure black, okay? Okay. If you don't like to use black, huh? there are some people that don't, don't, they don't like to use black. Just use uh, bar amber with ultramarine blue. black with red this is going to be for the nostril Zooming in the image here, my screen to see this. Let's add highlights. Oh, somebody's asking me. Oh, thank you, Monique. Dear, it is so close. I can't believe how fast. Oh, thank you. Anna is asking me, telling me that hair is so difficult, really. Yes, it's difficult. But in this case, it just, I'm not going to make the details on the hair, just in the, in the effect with the brush. Tatiana is asking me, do you apply gesso straight on raw cotton canvas or use a layer of glue before that? No, I just. Uh, I mean, just guess on. Okay, let me see. Notice that I don't use this color too much, uh, the lizard and green zone. I just keep this color for the mouth and for the nostril. I can put this pure lizard and green zone here on top of the black. Okay. 
little bit of red. This mint. white here a little bit of yellow okay okay I need to more shadows to this area Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I need to step back. Okay, it's late, guys. I'm gonna sleep. Good luck, Ronzo. Okay, thank you, Cash, K, Arvin, Casal. What brand of color does Ronzo use? Are you using Winton? Mm -hmm. uh, Winton is the student ver version of uh, Windsor. Winston Newton has to 
as a professional and a student uh, version. Sorry, sorry, I have to take this. Hello. Se, se están alistando sí no se están alistando, se están bañando y recién salen estoy haciendo un video, te llamo luego Sorry, that was my wife. I remember when I started to make the videos, my wife used to call me like all the time. Yeah. Now that she got got used to, she didn't call me so often. I mean now at, at, at I mean at this hour. Yeah. At the beginning, she was kind of mad. I was what you're painting? You, I don't care what you're doing. You have to answer the phone for me. <laughs> but I said, I remember that I told her, but I have a million people watching me. I don't care if the whole world is watching you. When I call, you answer. You know, we have to obey. If we don't obey, our life could be I don't know, in danger. <laughs> no, she doesn't call me like uh, she call, she call me she calls me at night. And sometimes I'm making videos at night, really late. Yes, I'm, you know, in my drawing channel because I cannot I cannot sleep. I can't sleep sometimes. And I'm making that and drawing. And she calls me, what? To drawing the whole f, f day? <laughs> drawing and painting. Somebody's paying you to do that? Yes, YouTube is paying me. Oh, well, okay. Continue drawing. <laughs> I mean, no YouTube, of, of course, it's because of the ads, yeah? But that's, that's funny. How important mon money is. Yes. When I have when I have money, like when I make money, like sometimes I make money, I sell, sell some paintings. Uh, my wife, she's like, oh my god, you are you're not fat, you you're thick. You're thick but not fat. When uh, I I don't have any money, I don't make any money. Uh, you're fat. <laughs> My God, money make my appearance to change so easily.
it was really funny. I mean, <laughs> really funny. She's like, too, you're thick, you're mo muscular. And I say, oh my God, I keep watching that hair and say, mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm what else? Uh, And I tell to uh, I as I tell uh, I say to myself to myself I mean let's wait when I'm run out of money let's see what happened Okay, I gotta be careful not to make him older. That's a problem with me because I wanna make more details, details, details. Soft this. I want this to be soft because I'm pretty sure it's gonna look younger if this is soft. Highlight a little bit to the right. Here, the light a little bit to the left to make the the nose a little thicker. Mm, that was too much, I think. Mixing black with yellow ochre. Add some black black to the shadow.
something here. Okay, let's see. I think that's okay. Okay. Okay, more black to the hair. But I don't know, I feel that I, I should make his eye eyes a little bigger. Or maybe it's just the I have to move the shadow a little bit more to a little Uh, this is black with red here is kind of a burn, burn amber with red and I think I make I need to make this darker that is the reason that the eyes looks smaller yeah that's better Oh, hello Edilberto. Hello Dia. Thank you. Okay, I need to make this. Okay, okay, okay. If we're going to paint here the clear, the white of the eye. Do you think that his nose Okay, let's paint the hair. Let's make the pair, the hair really black.
Okay, I'm going to pick up another brush I'm going to make the lights need to make this darker Okay, I think I'm getting to the end. Yeah. Little things to fix here and there. I need to soften this edge.
Okay, what else, what else, what else? Okay, definitely need to make this area a little bit darker. Okay, I think this is too bright. Green there. I don't know what's the name. Mm. Let me see. Here. Mm. Continue adjusting va values. You know that, for ex for example, here I'm making this a little bit lighter. do now is just looking for values this side of 
values. Okay, this me tones that I have to keep squinting my eyes. I see something is maybe wrong here on the face. Mm. I don't know if because the shadow here or I think okay there's a shadow here now I think I should move make the face wider here a little bit white okay that's okay okay it's just a little bit a little bit wider Here, a little bit darker here. Okay, that's okay. Mm. Difficult to see what I need. I think maybe I'll reduce this a little bit. Okay. Is it almost two hours? I'm doing okay for two hours.
<sighs> okay, I think that's okay. Yeah. I'm just going to make this. I'm gonna make the tails here. Okay, I think that's okay. Yeah. I was so worried to keep it, keep him younger. Mm, it doesn't have too much color, the painting. I would love to add some glazes. I don't wanna just... Uh, uh, maybe I'm gonna add a little bit of, to the nose. The nose it was, uh, was more reddish, you know, kind of I lost the color. A little bit some touch, some touches here and there of color. Hello, Carton. Hello, Mervat. Mark Hamilton, I could have been so nervous doing that eyebrow ring. <laughs> Why don't you ever mess up? Okay. Uh, is your daughter around to ask? I uh, know she's been, she's preparing herself to go to my wife's house and wait a minute what I was oh I was mixing this and I mean the other one that I did she thinks that I made him just a little bit older. But it's not like she doesn't like it, it's just like, it's, that's him, but mm, kind of something is not okay. She told me that, uh, mm, I don't know what it is, but maybe he looks uh, older. And I said, okay, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> you know, I try to paint. Uh, every every day, anything. Uh, I mean, I feel guilty because I have some commissions to do, and I'm not doing anything. Oh my God. Anyway. more orange here on the shadow of the nose just a touch okay Okay, has a little bit more color. When did you finally join a beer? Oh, that's really good. <laughs> you too, if yeah. I'm going to have a, a beer today. Yeah, uh, I think that's okay. Maybe a little bit of this red. It's orangey, reddish color. No, kind of. I think I have lost the color. Sometimes that happens when I'm so worried about uh, the likeness. 
and I forget about color. I shouldn't do that, but I mean that's that's the way it is. Yes, because it's difficult. It's not easy to get the likeness, and sometimes when we are thinking too much on that, we forget about color. We forget about everything. I try to keep a balance, but I think I lost the balance in this painting. Now I'm putting back something, some color. Yeah, it looks a little bit reddish here, reddish. The nose and the, the lip. Maybe the lip is too, too uh, reddish, too pinky. Should be a little bit darker, just here and here, just a little bit. Anyway, I'm happy with the painting. Like always, I wish I can do more. But that's okay. I mean, I plan to paint this in two hours yeah, because I gotta go out. Uh, it's been okay, it's been two hours and five minutes. All right now, I'm just making some retouches here and there. And the most important, of course, is paint. Yes, it's just paint. We gotta paint a little bit every day. If, if we cannot paint, at least draw. Eh? When I was working as a teacher, I didn't have too much paint for paint to paint, and even for drawing. Some days I couldn't draw, and I, I have to draw. And then I, I started to draw when I was going to I was going to the bathroom. I take my time pick up my paper and pencil I was just there drawing maybe I'm weird who knows, who cares When I was a teacher, I, I tried to paint with my students, but it's not always the same. I mean, we, can, we, not, we don't paint. I used to paint like twice a week, and all my students, they were painting a portrait. I was painting a portrait. I mean, we paint all together in the classroom. It wasn't that good because, I mean, I didn't have, uh, I couldn't finish a painting because I have to move from student to student to correct, to make corrections and all of that. I couldn't spend like a full, full time painting my portrait. I didn't finish even one. Okay, I think that's it.
Do you think it's close enough? Sometimes Monique is the only place to get some peace and quiet. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Monique. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Sit, sit. Okay. I try to pay attention to I try to pay attention to every detail. One eye is bigger than the other. Okay, I keep it away really carefully because I mean there's there's something there's something one eye bigger than the other. Okay. We just we don't need to exaggerate that. Okay. Sometimes I see his nose is too pinky. I feel like it's too pinky. I don't know anymore. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much. Take care. I think that's okay. <laughs> oh, I think I got a softest a little bit. Okay, you can go now. You can go now. I'm gonna be here just a few minutes. Go, leave me alone. <laughs> Go, get out.
Bye, take care. No, I go for you. Do you see a shadow here? Really dark, like that. The problem with this shadow, like this, like in the image, it's really sharp, really sharp, really dark, like a line, just like a mark there. If I copy that exactly in a painting, I'm pretty sure it's gonna look like a mistake. Forget the hair. I forget the hair, oh my god. Nobody told me. You're not my friends anymore. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye, take care. Oh, Mervat, if we told you about the hair shadow, would you do it? 
Oh, the hair shadow, the... No, I, I, the, the <laughs> I will do that. It, it just looks uh, like uh, something uh, that is not okay here. It's too black, I mean. Pretty sure his hair is just end up here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, bye, take care. All of you, take care, take care.